Okay, so now let's move on. Uh, so look at the next problem here. Sine n over n to the power of 7 over 5. Okay. So for this series, um, I would say the best approach for this one is using the direct comparison because sine of n is bounded above by 1, right? So this is less than 1 over n to the power of 7 over 5. And regarding to this one, this actually is a P series, okay? With P equals 7 over 5, which is greater than 1. We know that a P series, as long as P is greater than 1, then the series actually converges. Okay, series converges. And, uh, you know, if uh, this uh, series actually um, converges, and then it's good. Okay, it's good. Well, actually, let me be more um, accurate. So the best approach to show you this one is to put an absolute value here, okay. So that means uh, this one is going to strictly less than one here, okay, it's going to strictly less than one. And then uh, this one is less than sine. Uh, it is greater than sine n over n to the power of 7 over 5th. Um, now, why I want to, to, uh, to do that, um, because the logic is here, guys. Every time when I'm trying to use the uh, direct comparison, um, I need to make sure that both of the series, they actually, uh, they need to uh, greater or equal than zero for each term, okay? So then I can uh, use the direct comparison. But for this case, what I need to do is, uh, I need to, I want to show that this series is absolute convergent first. That is, I take the absolute value series um, for this, then this is what I got, and I know that the absolute value of sine of n is less than 1. That is true. So based on here, from here to here, I can use the direct comparison to show that, okay, uh, this series converged. Hence, this series is absolute convergent. And if it's absolute convergent, and of course, this series Converges. Okay, so uh, just want to be um, accurate because every time when we use the direct comparison test, uh, that is, you know, you have a n, you have uh, b n here. You need to make sure that a n and b n they are greater or equal than zero for all n. Okay, for all n. So for this series, since we cannot guarantee that because sine of n, as n becomes larger, is becoming to periodic. Uh, well, not, not exactly periodic, but we know that the sine n is always bouncing between negative 1 to 1. So that we cannot use the direct comparison test, but rather, like I said, I want to test whether my series is absolutely convergent or not. So I take the absolute of my series, which is right here, and based on the property, the absolute value of sine n is less than one. So I construct this n quality, okay? So I think maybe I need to get rid of this to be more accurate. So from here, I can use the direct comparison test to show that this series converge. This series actually is the absolute series of my original series. That means my series converges absolutely. And of course, if a series converges absolutely, then the series itself must convert. 
then I get the conclusion my series convert. Okay, just want to be more accurate. So this is problem F. Now um, let's look at another one here. Problem um, um, G here. So as you can see, um, this is two n plus three over n cubed minus six n squared plus seven. Um, you know the if n goes to very very large, and uh, this series actually gonna behave like this. Okay, in other words. I take the dominant term of the numerator, which is 2n, and then the dominating term from the denominator, which is n cubed. So give us this, okay. And uh, what is this? Well, this actually is 2 over n squared, okay, 2 over n squared. And, uh, you know, so actually this is a p series, right? This is a p series. Um, with p equals 2. So this is p series with p equals 2. So this series, I know that it converges. Okay, it converges. So, you know, if you, uh, so if this cube minus 6 square plus 7 over to over n square. So it turns out that, guys, this take a limit here, this is going to equal 1, okay? So based on the limit comparison test, we can get the conclusion that since this series, it converges, so that this one, okay? So this converges, okay? So based on the um, limit comparison test, okay? Now look at the next one. So I have 5 um, over 3 ln of ln n, okay. So, so to handle this problem, a pre-knowledge, you need to know that is, you know, this is y equals x, this is y equals ln of x, This is y equals e to the power x. So, you know, those exponential and logarithmic, those are inverse of each other, right? And uh, their graph actually is symmetric with respect to y equals x. Um, so actually, there is a very, very good property we can have here. You know, this is 1, okay? This is 1 here. And it turns out that you know, ln n actually is less than n, right? So, for n is greater than or equal than 1, okay? Um, you know, since ln n, ln y is 0, so of course 1 is greater than 0. But that's true for n is greater than 1 all the time. Uh, meanwhile, you know, ln of ln n Since this is an increasing function, so we can still let this work. Uh, so do you see that ln of ln n actually is less than ln of n, right? But I will also know that ln n is less than n. So what do we get? We get that ln of ln n is less than n, you know, for n is greater or equal than 1. Okay, well, actually, yeah. So. But uh, our problem here is n starting from 2, okay, so, so uh, we're good to go. So what we can do? With this, I actually can construct a inequality, which for this one, I can write into 5 over 3, sigma, and from 2 to infinity, 1 over ln of ln n, okay? And since ln of ln n is less than n, so do you agree that 1 over ln of ln n actually is greater than 1 over n, right? So 
right? So reciprocal, then the inequality changes. So correspondingly, I can get that this is greater than five over three, sigma actually is one over n. Okay, one over n. So we know that this series is a harmonic, right? Harmonic series. So this series actually is diverges, okay? And so based on the direct comparison test, uh, so my series actually is greater than another divergent series. Hence, the series itself um, diverges. Okay, so, so yeah, this is uh, uh, problem H. So hope you enjoyed this, okay? And uh, we'll see you in the next video.